Hello everyone, now we are going to do one more lab. Before we learn how we can create the VLAN, so now what we are going to do, we are going to add one more switch. Imagine this is your first floor, this is your ground floor. So you have one more switch here, okay? I will give the switch, this name as a switch. And you, uh, you have some guys from the sales sitting in the ground floor and also from the IT. So this is connected this way, your manager told them, your manager told you to do the configuration so this guy can communicate with the same VLAN. See here what we done, before our team is sitting in the first floor, later uh, new guys join in our organization, they are sitting in the ground floor. So ground floor we install one switch and we connected the two PC. And from this switch to this switch we connected, we are calling this is a uplink. So this two switch is connected and if you see we have the two port here and let me give the IP here I will give 192.168.1.I will give 3 okay and here I will 1.3 and 4 we use so 1.5 I will give okay 192.168.1.5 and let me assign the IP to this machine so I will go here I will assign here the IP okay and here I will give the 1.6 so this is the 1.6 and I will go here in the desktop and I will assign here 1.6 okay so this PC is in the VLAN 10 and this PC in the VLAN 20 so in this switch we need to do the basic configuration first of all we need to create the VLAN because this is a new brand new switch as per your manager request, we need to do the setup here. We need to do the configuration. We make the connection, but still this PC are unable to communicate. If you go here, you can check here IP config. You get the IP address that is your IP is 192.168.1.5. If you are trying to send email or trying to communicate with the 1.1, it will not work. This PC and this PC are in the same VLAN but still it is not working because we did not configure in the switch so it will not work your manager told okay the technician install the switch they done the cabling can you configure the switch okay so we need to do the configuration because it is not working it will not work even if they install the switch and connect the cable we need to do the configuration so now we will do the configuration so I will uh, we will go we are network engineer, we will go or we will uh, go there and then we will start configuration. I will configure this switch name first of all. Then after that I will create the VLAN. How we will create? We will write the VLAN and VLAN number. Then write name and give the name, whatever name you want to give. Then we will create the VLAN. Then again the name. So this way we created the VLAN. Now you need to put that port. If you see this port F0 by 1. If you write interface fast ethernet F0 by 1. Then you write switch port mode axis. Then you write switch port axis. Which VLAN this port is? This port is in the VLAN 10. If you see this one 10. So we will write 10. So this port move in that VLAN. It will take some time. After that it will start working. Then after that I will go to this port. Fast Ethernet 0 by 2. So I will go fast Ethernet 0 by 2. Then I will write here switch port mode axis. And then I will write switch port axis VLAN. Which VLAN this one? VLAN 20 okay so that port also moved to VLAN 20 if you want to check you can write do show VLAN brief and if you see here you have this two new VLAN and you put the port fast ethernet 0 by 1 in the VLAN 10 fast ethernet 0 by 2 in the VLAN 20 okay so these two ports are okay and everything is good now what we can do we can check it will not work okay we configure but still one more thing we need to configure let me show you still we did not configure the trunk okay so it will not work let's try this PC 192.168.1.5 is pinging to PC 192.168.1.1 it still it is not working why it is not working because this port is in the VLAN 10 this port is in the VLAN 20 but this port is in the VLAN 1 and also this port is in the VLAN 1 so if they are in the VLAN 1 then they are going to carry the VLAN traffic we need to send which traffic VLAN 10 so they will not carry so what we can do here 
I can put this port in VLAN 10 and this port is in VLAN 10 then it will carry the VLAN 10 traffic. Let me show you. I will go here interface fast Ethernet 0 by 3. Then I will write switch port okay axis VLAN 10. So this port I put in the VLAN 10. I will go here and this port here also this side what is the port I think this is the F0 by 5 this is F0 by 5 okay. So here I will go and then I will write here I will go in the configuration I will write interface F0 by 5 and I will write switch port axis VLAN 10. So I put the VLAN 10 this port this side and this side I put in the VLAN 10. So now VLAN 10 traffic will go but VLAN 20 traffic will not go we will see. So I will go to this machine and here I will try to ping before it is not working now it will start working. Okay I am 192.168.1.5 I am sitting in the ground floor. I am making communication with the first floor the PC 192.168.1.1. It will work it will take some time and then after that it will start working. Okay, this is VLAN 10. This is VLAN 10. If you see last pack packet is working. So let me ping again. So it is working perfectly. VLAN 10 is working no issue. But the problem here if you go here. Okay, this is the computer. If you write IP config. This is the IP of your computer. If you want to ping 192.168.1.4 here. I will write ping 192.168.1.4. Okay, it will not work. This PC will not communicate with this PC because this port is in the VLAN 10. This port is going to carry only VLAN 10 traffic. So this is a problem here. This port is going to carry only VLAN 10 traffic. So we cannot communicate. We cannot make the communication between this VLAN 20. If you put this in the VLAN 20 then it will work but this will stop. Let me show you if you see this one is not working. Now I will go here. I will write here switch port axis VLAN 20. Okay. I change here in the switch to and here also I will write here switch port axis VLAN 20. If you want we can write do show VLAN brief. So I put this port this one F0 by 5 in the VLAN 20 before it is in the VLAN 10. Now VLAN 20 will start working but VLAN 10 will stop working. Okay. If you want to check you need to wait some time because spanning tree protocol is working here. If you don't want to wait then do fast forward this one. Okay. Now you can check. Now which PC this PC before we are checking this PC. So now check this will start working. This computer is communicating with this computer no problem. Okay. Because this interface we put in the VLAN 20 but this computer before it is working now it will not work because it will not carry the VLAN 10 traffic. This link is going to carry only VLAN 20 traffic. So we have this problem. If you put for VLAN 10 VLAN 20 will not go. If you put for VLAN 20 VLAN 10 traffic will not go. So what is the solution? How we can fix this issue? Okay, what is up solution how we can fix this issue. So we are going to use the trunk. Trunk is going to carry all the VLAN. Okay, trunk is going to carry the multiple VLAN. So we are going to configure this port as a trunk. So when this port become as a trunk he is going to carry multiple VLAN. More than one VLAN. You can carry all the VLAN or you can put the filtering here also. So now I will make this port as a trunk, this port as a trunk. Then he is going to carry the VLAN 10 traffic also, VLAN 20 traffic also. So how we can make the trunk? We will go here inside and then I will write here switch port mode trunk. Okay. So if you see here when I make this switch port mode trunk, this interface will go in the trunk. I will go here I can show you show interface trunk. We use this command show interface trunk to check the trunk interface. So if you see I have one interface fast ethernet 0 by 3. It is in the on mode means manually we configure and we are using 802.1q trunking protocol. Encapsulation we are using 802.1q. Status is trunk native VLAN is 1. How many VLAN whatever VLAN this port is going to carry it, it is going to carry from VLAN 1 to 1005. 
standard vlan he is going to carry allow on the trunk all vlan he is going to allow here currently how many vlan we have here we have vlan 1 vlan 10 vlan 20 so this all is going to carry so what i done i make this port as a trunk okay so here in the cisco when we make this port as a trunk automatically the directly connected link of the switch also going to become as a trunk automatically but cisco recommend to do both the site manually but if you make one site as a trunk automatically the other site is going to become the trunk because of the dtp protocol okay because of the dtp he is going to make the other side also trunk so let me show you if you go to the switch one and if you check here we did not make here trunk okay so if you see do show interface trunk here also this port the fast ethernet 0 by 5 this one also become as a trunk but we did not make this one as a trunk this become automatically because of the dtp and they are using the 802.1q trunking protocol native vlan is one same thing but this become automatically when we make this as a trunk automatically this become as a trunk okay but cisco recommend not to do automatically do manually so i will write here interface fast ethernet 0 by 2 and then we write switch port mode trunk okay i done switch port mode trunk and then you can write show interface trunk to check the trunk port if you see here before we have here auto but now on when you configure manually this will become on if it is become automatically you will have auto here okay so if you see here before it is a auto here this one but now i configure so this become as a on so now what we can do we can test so i will go here before it is not working right before this one is not working so now i will check it is working vlan 10 traffic is going here okay vlan 10 traffic is going with this trunk link so we can check the vlan 20 traffic also so i will go here and i will ping the vlan 20 traffic also here so vlan 20 traffic is also going vlan 10 traffic is also going so what we can say we can say that vlan 10 20 all vlan traffic is passing through this link so we need to remember trunk port allow multiple vlan traffic hence our lab is successfully done but if the problem here different vlan cannot communicate if you go here and you will say i want to communicate 1.4 then it will not work if you ping here 1.4 it will not work if you see here it will not work why it will not work because different vlan cannot communicate this is a vlan 10 this is a vlan 20 they they will not communicate they will not communicate so what we can do we need to do the inter vlan routing to make the communication between different vlan we need to do the inter vlan routing so in our next class we are going to learn how we can do the inter vlan routing okay thank you